Well, hello there. Welcome to Friday. It's Friday. I had to be reminded of that because I lose track of days and it's summertime. How's it going, children? Good. Everyone's dressed up and out of the house. Once again, 1.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, summer like messes with your, your time schedule. We're waking up later, we're getting out of the house later. It's, it's pretty bad. But we're here, Westgate, for some late lunch. Yesterday we ate lunch at like 1.30 as well. Yeah, we're eating lunch late. But anyways, we're gonna try something all new. Never been here before, I've heard about it. My brother Travis was here for his birthday. We, we missed, unfortunately. And it's hot and juicy crawfish. It's gonna get a little interesting and a little messy. All right, so this is hot and juicy crawfish and uh, it is only seafood, so Tiffany is totally freaking out because the only non-seafood thing they have that we're getting is andouille sausage. They do have chicken nuggets, and they have like, like some fried stuff, but Tiffany doesn't even like fried stuff, so they don't even have salads. Like the only veggies they have are potatoes and corn, so she's a little worried. But it looks like it's gonna be cool. We got all these cool tools to crack and peel apart. We got gloves, we got bibs. Here's where you're rocking her bib. And then we got the bucket for the shells. I'm here for you guys. She's here for, you're doing it for the vlog. You're doing it for the vlog. <laughs> I said, let's go somewhere fun, like, for the experience. So. Yeah, and what the menu say? Experience. Experiences. These are experiences, yes. Looking good. Looking good. It's good. Are you excited or what? I'm so excited. This is my kind of stuff. Crack the shells. Like dig up meat. So we're getting a pound of crawfish, a pound of shrimp, a half pound of snow crab legs, a dozen emily sausages, and I don't know how much calamari, we're getting calamari, uh, and then some potatoes and some corn. And it's so gonna come in a big bag full of seasoning. And like that's how it's steamed and cooked. And it's gonna look like that. Full body. You have to work for your food. Yeah, work for your food. Get a big one. <laughs> for <the> mom. <laughs> there you go, mom. Dig in. Yummy. So it come, literally comes in a bag. And it's a bag in a bag. Alright. I'm gonna make some room. So I see shrimp, crawfish. And there's the crab legs. Yeah. Ready for this? Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's steamy. There's the crab leg. Yeah, put it all on the table, please. Oh, this is disgusting. I Why? It looks like a real animal. That was an animal. I know that, but it doesn't look like one. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. It's supposed to all stick with my core, but there's something hanging from it. <laughs> Whiskers. <laughs> Shrimp. Oh my gosh, I can't eat it. I'm like so true. <laughs> Yeah, you guys took the head. Oh yeah. You guys have fun with this. Get the crab out. I'm trying to. What the heck is this? I'll get out. You use that, yeah, just like that. That's how you're supposed to do it. But it, they're crab legs, so they're kind of small. So you just gotta figure it out. <laughs> hey, mommy found some sausage. It's yummy. No, she's over it. <laughs> I'll leave mom home next time. <laughs> you right, Bryce? Yeah. Figure it out. You don't have to use a tool. You don't, you don't need to. <laughs> Normally, it's a little little fork. Find the meat. Finding it. All right, you're finding it. We're good. Oh yeah. All right. Why don't they just pinch so you can grab it? I've done karate before. I, I'm assuming this is how you do it. How are we doing, Bryce? Figure it out? No. No? Serious. She's, she's breaking into a crab claw. <laughs> Alright, so I just asked the server, and we are supposed to eat just the tail of a crawfish. I know some people eat the heads, and like, you know, hardcore people will do that. I'm not that hardcore. And if the crawfish were bigger, you can eat the claws. We can't do that either. So, just the tails, like little mini lobsters. How's your sausage and corn? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
You're too picky. You're too picky. Come on, guys. Yeah. Next time, you know what? Next time you order a, 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 a piece of chicken, I'll show you the chicken. I know. Same thing. It's in my head. It's in your head because you can see it. Who else would eat this stuff? Everyone. Uh, look, famous people eat here all the time. <laughs> look at that shrimp. Look at the size of that shrimp. You see that? So this is the part we normally get, right? When we order shrimp. So they just pull the head off. Right? Oh. <laughs> It's on your leg too. No, it's the it's the it's the, it's the, it's the liquid. It was inside. Lick it off. So, anyways, as I was saying, you pull off the head and you pull off the tail, right? And you're left with a piece of amazing. Just gotta kind of pull the shell off. It's, it's a lot of work, but. I never knew there was a head on a shrimp. There we go. On a shrimp. <laughs> Trying out the sausage? Or ears. Or hair, right? Good. He's trying out the crawfish. Hang on, hang on. Let me show you. No, I don't eat his head, do I? No. Alright, then we'll watch Bryce right West. I pull up the new tail. Watch, no, watch. See where the tail is? You just want to pull the tail off the back of the tail. I need to pull that side of it? Yep, the tail is. Just like the lobster. Just like the lobster. Oh, so good. Oh, do I crack it like the lobster? No, you don't have to check it in that drink. Okay. Very messy meal. No silverware. Bibs, gloves, if you choose to use them. Or even with the potato, you're just like... Good though. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm loving this, all right? I can sit here all day, peeling shrimp, and quick cracking shells, and just be in heaven. In Louisiana heaven. And uh, Bryce, you gave up? <laughs> uh, watch. Clean I hand. And I didn't wash <laughs> So this is the aftermath. Shells, the carcasses of my of my kill. No, you didn't kill them. They killed. Pretty much ate it all. Pretty much, it's very plain. Good job. You pretty much ate it all. I pretty much ate it all. You and Sierra. Well, what'd you guys think? It was good. Good. It was good. Mm -hmm. Would you come back, realistically? Yes. Sierra would. Bryce? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yes. Not really. Mm. You can just say it, dude. You don't you have to like, you know. No, it's not like no, I'm saying maybe. I might. It's one of those things maybe every once in a while. Yeah. You're not craving to come back anytime soon. Does that sound right? Or would you come back next week's year? Sure. <laughs> My kids are like just like me. It's too too easy. What about you? You coming back? No. She's not coming back. Uh, so we got the we got the experience. We got the like the feast, right? So it had everything in it, and like you could just order just one thing. So you can order just crab legs or just shrimp or just crawfish. And I think that's what I would do next time. I think I would order like just shrimp or maybe some king crab legs or something like that. Because the like the way it's cooked, like it's like that Louisiana style, like boiled in like a seasoning broth. I love that, and I don't mind working for my. Th I'll, I'll crack crab legs, uh, crab legs and, and shrimp all day long because I love it. These two are kind of on the fence. We'll just stick with sushi. How about that? Yeah. So with that being said, this little girl's still hungry. I am. So. Could eat. We have to go find some place for you to eat. Where's the nearest salad bar? I don't. <laughs> so Tiffany, every once in a while, gets a hair in her butt and she wants to watch a movie and so this is I am Sam which sounds like a thrilling thrilling movie and she sucked both kids into it so I'm gonna leave you guys here and I'll be back later bye so Tiff and I just went uh, to the mailbox to grab the mail and we had a box unknown sender didn't know who it was from or whatever and we opened it up and there's a nice little letter in here from the folks the good folks at semaphore they're, uh, they're, they do a lot of things for us. They started with just doing our taxes, then they became our personal accountants, our, our corporate accountant, 
and uh, and they, we do, they just do so many things for us. Some of, we love some of If you're if you're in the business, a full-time YouTuber, and you need help with accounting, tax, all that stuff, Semaphore, you need to check them out. Anyways, they, they gave us the mo a most amazing gift, a personalized gift. Check this out. So we got these four individual boxes with our names on it, right? And Sierra, why don't you open it up and show what's inside? Oops. It slides open. And they're chopsticks with, our, with Clint's TV on them. <laughs> How cool is that? That is so cool. Like as soon as you want to take these with me next time we eat sushi. Yeah. <laughs> it's just uh, it's just a token of appreciation uh, for something we did for them, and they do so many things for us, and just it's just like a constant circle of love for us, you know. Girls in the kitchen, watch out now. Mommy's got the munchies because she didn't eat lunch. I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. He did. Bryce made a joke that you should make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, really and she long did. Ah, they're so long that they're folded in half. That's crazy. Are they fun? So what are you making? Spaghetti. Spaghetti and with some weird noodles. Ooh, white and red sauces. Fancy schmancy. Oh, look, we she made her salad because you didn't get one for lunch. <laughs> yes. I told you I was going to. Guys, I like to give Tiffany crap because she's very simple. I won't call her boring. I won't call her picky. She's simple. We go out to eat. She doesn't eat a lot. And she prefers a salad, which is amazing. She eats green veggies. You guys should all eat your veggies. But we went to a restaurant today that didn't have any veggies. Like literally nothing. They even have a side salad. The only vegetables they had were potatoes and corn that came in the bag. Those aren't and those aren't even vegetables. Like those are like the worst vegetables ever in, in history of vegetables. Those are the worst. Next to like iceberg lettuce. I anyway, know I was giving her crap today at the table saying how she was picky. And she, you are kind of picky. I guess, and it's not picky. I guess, I don't know what's the, what's the right word for it. There's certain things she doesn't like. She yeah, doesn't like certain exactly. things. You guys call me picky. I like everything. That's the problem. I love everything. That's why. I love everything. So for me, if you don't like something, you're picky. And in fact, I would say she's more picky than anyone in the family. You are the pickiest. Like, you go to a restaurant and you get mac and cheese. And you get chicken fingers. And like, you're turning into a boring kid. And you need to like, stick with that stuff. And experiment stuff. Like today, you ate, you ate, you ate crawfish and shrimp. That was awesome. Good job. Just got done watching Star Wars, The Force Awakens. I ended up buying it on iTunes, just because I felt like watching a movie. Every once in a while I just, I don't feel like doing anything. I did like an hour, hour and a half of email. I was gonna stream. I ended up having a conversation with a friend and talking YouTube and you know, things just get on my mind, man. All, all day today I've just been like up in the clouds. I went for a walk to try and clear my head and it just got me wound up even more talking to Tiffany about stuff. Came back home, and decided just wanted to watch a movie. So, watch Star Wars, it was good. That's it for today, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Vlog on.